Alright everyone, this is Game Guy 1984 here, and today we are playing the next of the series, Brain Train with Professor Labco. This is series number four. So let us begin this series here. Oh, you're still here. That's good. I thought one of my lab experiments might have eaten you. I have some more puzzles for you. Much harder than those before. You know what to do. Solve them all and insert the correct answers numbers into my special TV device on the right. Bye for now. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, question number one. This is pretty obvious. This is similar to a to a puzzle that was in the first one. As you can see here, there are three squares. Then here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the two behind over here, which makes nine. Three, six, nine. This here has to be twelve. Twelve squares. So let's see now. You know it's not this one. There's more, definitely more than 12 squares here. This one as well. More than 12 squares as a matter of fact. This one here is definitely more than 12 squares as well. How about this one here? 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8. I think there's only 10. This looks like the more logical one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah, 5 is the answer, 5, oh, what, oh, there we go, 5, come on, please, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, my stuff is a bit glitchy, as you can see, the mouse cursor, it's a bit glitchy, on to question number 2, select the missing piece, you have to find the green one. So we know it's not this for sure. This is not the answer. This is definitely not the answer as well since since this is a bit wide. And um let's see now. This is def no no this is definitely not the answer. As you can see, this part here is way too long. So one, two is not the answer. Two long legs. This one is a bit wide, so it's between 4 and 5. So let's see now. There's two like this here, so that's definitely not the answer. This one is the answer, yes. This is definitely the answer here, so number 2 is 4. There we go. Question number 3. Uh, this is rather easy. If you fold the black parts, like fold it into the square you get this here so you fold this to get that you fold this to get this right here so this one here if you fold this up like that you get this pattern here so it's definitely not three four five it's between one and two if you fold this there and you fold this there you get this pattern here not this this one here so the answer is two I hope you guys are following along with my with my um, explanation because it can be quite difficult to understand at times. Anyways, question number four. One plus one equals eight. Two plus two equals three. Two, three, three. I believe this one here, if you multiply these two numbers together and then multiply the this result by eight, you get this here. So one times one equals one. Multiply by eight, you get eight. 2 times 2 equals 4, multiply that by 8, you get 32. 3 times 3 equals 9, multiply by that Multiply that by 8, you get 72, of course. So 4 times 4 equals 16, 16 multiplied by 8 equals 128, so the answer is 4. There we go. Question number 5. Select the odd one out. Oh, this is easy. Use this as as the base, as the base answer, okay? So if you were, to, you were to rotate this, to make this line look like this, this would match. The same thing with this here, and also this here as well, and this here. This one here, 
if you make it into this line here, this triangle will end up on the right side. So this is the odd one out. The answer is 1. Question number 6. Oh, this is an easy one too. You square the se you square the second number and then you add the first number. So 4 squared equals 16. 16 plus 3 equals 19. 6 squared equals 36. Add this together together to get 41. 3 squared equals 9. 9 plus 1 equals 10. So 2 squared equals 4. 4 plus 7 equals 11. The answer is number 2. Okay. Question number 7. Select the odd one out. This is rather easy as well. The outer shape for this one here has 4 sides. The inner shape has three. See, this one here has five sides. The inner has four. As you can see here, the outer shape has one more side than the inner shape. As you can see for all of these here. For one and two as well. Five, six sides on the outer, five on the inner. This is a hexagon. Eight sides. I forget what you call a seven-sided polygon. I forgot what it's called. Septagon, I think? I'm not too sure. But this has seven sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. This here is a seven sided thing as well. Seven and six. This here, however, is six sides. Well, the inner has four. A difference of two. So this is the odd one out. The answer is three. And finally, question number eight. This here is rather easy. This rotates every time. So this rotates to this. If you go 90 degrees clockwise, this rotates to this 90 degrees clockwise. And also, as, as each rotation goes on, this adds to one. So like one, then you add another one to make two, then another one to make three. So, let's see now. This, this, this. This is the answer here. We can eliminate two, three, and five. It's between one and it's between four and one. This here is an increment of four, so the answer is one. And I believe that is correct. <clears throat> so I believe this is my answer. So with that being said, I am Game Guy1984. And if you like this video, then please like and or comment. Then I encourage you to watch my other videos to see if you like the content that I put out. And if you like what you see, then please, I encourage you to subscribe. So with that being said, I am signing out. I see you solved all of my puzzles again. That's impressive, but I want you to solve some more. Wait here a week or so while I'm working on my new puzzles. Bye.